Yo guys, in this video I'll show you how I make my custom 3D characters of basically any person. I'll cover the complete process from getting the references, working with FaceGen and Dust3D, to making hair, clothes and rigging the character to later use it in your animations. For this video we'll be working with this Xavier Suit based model, so let's get into it. Some programs I usually use are PureRef, FaceGen, Dust3D, Blender, Marvelous Designer and Softness Painter. Most of these are paid, but offer free versions or test subscriptions, so definitely check them out. Let's start by looking for images of the person's face from correct angles. Here you can see what type of images work the best. Some Google searches I usually try are name face image and name portrait, but sometimes you gotta dig deeper. For that stuff like Pinterest, interviews or just videos and live streams featuring the person work great. In Xavier's so based case I found a good side profile image in his skating documentary and enhanced this image with a free online AI upscaler. Now we can start our process with FaceChan. The workflow is pretty straightforward, just upload the image and move the points to follow the reference. Some points to look out for are those on the sides. Make sure you don't just place them on the edges of the face, but on the cheekbones to get the best result. After hitting create from photo you should be good. Sometimes tweaks are necessary though. You can perform them by using interactive modify or manually changing the specific face parts. After you are done, go to file, export, set the name, which Genesis version you wanna later use in Dust3D and your Dust library direction. Finish it off by hitting export. In this video I won't cover all the specifics of the software and how to install it, since there is a bunch of information online. Now let's go into Dust3D. Here we will apply our face morph to the actual person model. Since I went with Genesis 8.1, in FaceGen export I'll add a Genesis 8.1 basic mail into my scene. To apply the face morph, let's go into Active Parameters and search for the name we saved our FaceGen export as. In my case it was Xavier so base test. At this point the face might look really weird, so let's apply the materials. In the surfaces tab you can find the materials for all body parts. To change them, go into the base color and hit browse. Your face gen images will be in the test library, runtime, textures, face gen, genesis and your version, and the name you saved your file as. Here you should have 6 textures, so apply them accordingly to all body parts. Now that our character looks somewhat realistic, let's export him as an FBX to Blender. Here in Blender we'll do most of the work, so after importing an FBX into our scene, let's fix some issues. First, I completely delete the dice rig by selecting all meshes, removing parent and deleting the rig. Another thing is that materials from Dice3D usually export with metallic set to 1, so let's quickly remove it from all visible parts. We can delete these white spheres on the eyes too, since they are not useful and make tear meshes transparent. You can also control the color of the eyes with a hue saturation node. Ok, now our character looks at least somewhat realistic. Uh, Let's add the hair. Now, there are multiple ways to do so. Blend the particle system is a good one. But for more specific haircuts like this afro, it's better to just look online. So I hopped on Sketchfab and found this awesome free model. Let's import it in the scene and look at that. Definitely adds some realism. Now while the shape of the hair is quite good, the material is just not it. So let's fix it. I found this hair types image online and cropped it. Now we can use it as an alpha for dark brown hair, already looks way better. To tweak the hair even more, you can use a grab sculpt brush to mess with the shape. Now that we got the hair, let's tweak the face more so it matches the references. I joined all body meshes together and used the same grab brush to change the shape. After all those changes, you should have a decent looking head model. Let's now move on to the body. There is not a lot to say about the body, we'll use the same grab sculpt brush and a smooth brush. In this case I wanted to make the character skinnier, so I used smooth brush in the thigh area and reshape the chest area with a grab brush. It is usually these areas you want to focus on when tweaking the body. Now we can finally move on to the clothing. Again it all starts with references. I wanted to make this outfit, so I started with shoes. Now I have a bunch of tutorials on how to make shoe models completely from scratch, but in this case a better solution might be to just get a model online. I wasn't able to find the exact pair. But by tweaking these orange Jordans I got a pretty dope colorway, so let's go with them. Now I won't go too in depth on how I created the clothing, because I have some full tutorials on my channel, I'll link everything in the description. But I used Marvel's designer to make the model and texture the outfit in Substance Painter. With all that our character really starts getting together, so if you are satisfied with the model, 
it's time to get into the rigging process. And it's actually way easier than you might think, but still requires some preparation. So we'll be using a free website called Mixamo, which was created by Adobe for the sole purpose of rigging and animating 3D characters. The only problem is that you can't have materials with roughness image inputs. So let's make a new Blender file, call it for rig, and remove all the materials that, that have roughness images in them. In my case, those are the shoes, hair, and outfit. Now we can finally export our character as an FBX. Upload this file to the Mixamo website, position the points according to the reference and get a fully rigged character. After importing the rigged file into Blender, you might run into a strange rotation issue. As you can see, my character rotates when I switch to rest position. This should not be happening. An easy fix to it is deleting the keyframes in your rig, applying pose, click transform all, rotating the rig 90 degrees and applying all transforms to it. As you can see, some materials got worked up too. So you might need to make the TA transparent again, mess with the eyes and of course get all the missing materials back. A quick way to do so is by selecting a pen in the file menu, locating your original character blender file, selecting the missing textures from there and applying them to the rigged character. The final step could be making your rig IK, which is easy with a free Mixamo editor. I'll link it in the description. So that's pretty much the entire process for this Xavier so based character. But I also want to share some other tips and tricks I haven't discussed yet. For tattoos, I usually use After Effects by just overlaying PNG images of the base color texture. To get more body morphs for Death 3D, I use probably not the most ethical way. Anyway, the site is called Trend Estate, but only use it at your own risk. It's better to just support a person who made the morph than deal with viruses later. Really wanna hear what you guys have to say about the video, and yeah, go make your cool ass characters. Peace. Thank you.